Good evening, everyone. As you can see, I just did the workout that you're getting ready to do. Um, I certainly, it's about a 25 minute workout, so I did not have time to record it all. And I wanted to do it, time it, see if I needed to adjust anything before I present it to you. I'm gonna give you a real quick rundown on my weekend because I promised I would check in and I know I didn't. But what happened was um, I was in Louisville, as I am every weekend, and uh, we did a trail run um, Saturday and I rolled my ankle um, on some tree roots going down a hill and it was a little tender. So I did a seven mile run, um, it was meant to be six but with some mishaps it ended up being seven. Um, but I did my seven mile run Saturday but I didn't do anything else um, until last night. I did Insanity, upper, bar, or upper arm, upper body and arms. The nice thing about Louisville um, is my coat has access to all those videos. Um, he's a beach body coach, so he's got P90X, he's got Insanity, he's got access to all of those. So I get to try them out and borrow them, but I love them all. And I love the Insanity videos. If you want some hardcore cardio, he puts cardio in everything he does. Just like I put core in everything I do, he puts cardio in everything he does. Shanti, um, go to fullwindfitness.com and check the videos out. So anyway, I did that workout last night and then I tried to do a recap. It was getting very late um, because I have to get up. When I spend the weekend, I have to get up either on Monday or Tuesday morning, whichever day I work, at 5 a.m. and drive to Indy to work. So I ran out of time last night. I did like three different takes of the video trying to fit the workout in and give you a recap that I was all over the place because I had no idea what I just did. <laughs> so unless it's a workout I create, it's hard for me to share in 15 minutes or less. So, but I'm back. We're ready to start a new week. Can't see. We're ready to start a new week. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is a hardcore ab workout. We're going to do four sets, four exercises, four sets, 25 each. I like round numbers. So what does that come out to? 25 per exercise, right? Times four. A hundred. I like round numbers. Some people call it OCD. I just call it well-rounded. But anyway, that's my shirt from the last workout, and I'm already sweating because I'm out on my patio, and it's 100 degrees, and I have a four-mile run yet tonight. We are on a heat advisory. Um, if you're in Indiana, Ohio, any of the tri-state areas, Kentucky, we are on a severe heat advisory until the 25th of July. So all my runners, walkers, outdoorsy girls, um, or guys, uh, you want to plan your schedule accordingly. Get those workouts in early in the morning or tonight because I was on the road early this morning. I have to do it late tonight and then I'm going to jump in the pool afterwards. If it's chlorine, I don't have to bathe, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, that'll be my bath is the pool afterwards. So, but anyway, I want to throw that in. Get your, get your workouts in early or late. <laughs> We're going to do a late one tonight, so you can save it in the morning, or if you're like me and you have all your energy at night, you can do it late at night. So I'm going to demonstrate each exercise, but this is actually my second recording because I tried to demonstrate 25 reps of each exercise and I ran out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate each exercise. Just remember, you're going to do 25 reps. And the first one we started with, this is, first of all, this is the equipment you're going to need. You're going to need free weights, light weights, whether it's two pounds, five pounds. Don't have free weights, go get in the pantry, grab a one pound jar of something. In my case, it was gravy. I bet you they've been in my pantry for two years. I'll never eat them. So I might as well use them for something. Speaking of eating, I ate very badly this weekend. Really bad. Um, we tend to be a bad influence on each other. When we get together, we want to eat bad food. So anyway, unfortunately that means you ate bad food, so you have to burn it with me. Sorry about that. Sorry about that pizza last night. So we're going to get started right away. Um, so you'll need your weights. I've got my lipstick runner mat, by the way, in case you're wondering what my Princess Warrior band is for, um, other than to add a little bling to my muscle. <laughs> it's actually the, it's the uh, tie to my mat but I lose it. If I don't put it on my arm, I will lose it, even on my own patio. It would get lost somewhere. So, we're going to get started. You're going to need a weight bench, a table, 
something rectangular or a little bit long that will hold your body weight because we're going to do V sits or V raises. Everyone calls them something different. I call them V sits. So what you're going to do is you're going to position yourself back. You want your arms back. You want your upper body, your spine straight, your neck straight. Okay, abs tight as usual. And then you want to come back okay until you feel that those abs tightening and then hold it elbows slightly bent legs off the ground bring the legs up into a V down hovering just above the ground um, you want to just bring them down maybe about I would say eight inches off the ground and then back up because that's where you're gonna feel the contraction you're gonna feel your abs tightening and you're going to do 25 of these. These are the first exercise. And then you're going to go straight into that exercise because we want to keep the heart flowing. You're going to go straight into the next exercise. And it's going to be on the ground. No equipment needed. You're going to do a sit-up twist. So what you're going to do is you can have your arms like this, like this, or like this. Whichever's more comfortable, but yet you're feeling the abs contract, okay? So you're going to come up and then a full twist. Now, the good news is each twist counts as a rep. So we just did two. I decided to take it easy on you since you have four rounds of this. So you're going to come on, on each side and twist. And you want to feel it, so go all the way back, but let the hands touch the ground. Let it be a full range of movement and you want it kind of slow, don't get too fast or you won't get the benefit, you won't get that waistline workout. So 25 of those, and then as soon as we finish those, we are going to go in to the dive bomber push-up, okay? Now this is a core exercise, but again, it's kind of a dual benefit. You're gonna feel it a little bit in the um, upper body, but you know I can't do a workout with something without something having the word push up in it. So anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out V, you want the bootay up, you want your feet slightly apart, arms as if you're getting ready to go into a push up. So you want your arms just lined up with your shoulders, maybe slightly out from your shoulders. And what you're gonna do is bend the knees, you're gonna come down, kind of scoop with your upper body, my arms were not enough, I'm sorry. Let's try it again. Down, scoop with your upper body, and then up. But you want to hover over the ground. You don't want to drop to the ground. So I'm going to do it the other way so you can see my body both ways. Again, go, <laughs> my boot, look at my butt from the patio. I need to clean my patio. So anyway, you're going to go, Straight down, you're gonna bend the knees and then you're gonna rock, a rock movement. Like, that's the best way I know. And then hover over the ground, up, then bend the knees and come back to the V. So you go from the balls of your feet, knees bent, swing out to the tippy toes. And then you wanna knees bent, swing back up in the V to the balls of your feet. You're gonna do that 25 times. Now this, is one rep. So one complete movement is one rep. Again, you're going to do that 25 times. Then the fourth exercise, you're going to want your weights. And what I would suggest is, I used five pound weights in my workout. Now there's plenty of, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that are stronger than I am. But for those of you that don't have quite that upper body strength, five pounds is a lot. Because by set two, I was in pain, I was struggling. I was almost ready to switch to the gravy jars. <laughs> so I would start out with a two pound weight or one pound weight. If that feels too easy, then go grab, grab some five pounds and give it a shot. The only thing I ask is that if you give it a shot with five pounds, complete the 25. You can go back to the lightweight the next round, but don't quit in between. If you, whatever you start with, finish with it, wait till your next set, and then go down and wait. Okay, so start low, go high second set, if that's too much, go back down, go low again, third set. So anyway, feet out in front of you, arms straight in front, 
And what you're going to do is you're going to go back as far as you can and twist. And this is a slow controlled movement. Now remember, we're going to be going, we're going to be flowing straight from one exercise to the next. So I'm talking, there's breaks in between, but there really shouldn't be other than to wipe the sweat out of your eyes or take a quick drink of water. Okay, but even then I would try to wait in between sets to do that. Again, good news. That's one rep. That's two reps. You want to do it slow. You want your back straight. You don't want to hurt your shoulders. You don't want to hurt anything. Maybe even elbows a little, little, little bit, slightly bent, just so you're not locking your shoulders out. But you're going to go all the way around and come forward. And then back around. 25 of those. Now, for those of you that aren't running, or didn't get your 30 minutes of cardio in today, I want you to do each of those exercises 25 times, five sets. So I'm rewarding those of you that did your 30 minutes of cardio because you can stop at four sets. But those of you that didn't, please do five sets. And I'm only doing it because I love you. It hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but what I would suggest for your cardio, and I want you to do this in between sets anyway, is fake jump rope. Sorry. Fake jump rope. One, two. Yeah. Now you know I like my numbers even, so you're going to do it for 25. Like one, two. So every second jump. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's high impact version low impact version. 25 seconds. Then go straight into the set again. Do that four times. If you didn't run, do it five times and you have to jump rope for 50 seconds. Okay? So I hopefully you get the gist. It's a really good workout, trust me. If I'm feeling it, you're going to feel it. Now I got to head out for a four mile run on a, on a four mile run because I want to have my bowl of Captain Crunch when I go to bed tonight. So I work out to eat. I run to eat. Thank you so much. Your response to my videos has been overwhelming. Um, not just what everyone else is seeing on Facebook, but my emails are insane. So I am so happy. It's nice to know that people are doing this with me. And you know, I'm really not, maybe one of these days I'll do it for a living, but I'm really not doing this for any other reason than to help you out. I have never looked or felt better than I have the last 22 months of my life, and I want you to feel that way too. So have a good night. I'm off on my run. Drink lots of water. And if you have any suggestions, tips, or ideas, what you'd like me to try out tomorrow or a workout you'd like me to put together, I literally put them together the day of the workout. So let me know. It's never too late to suggest. And uh, this is Tip Nash. Lipstick Runner signing off. Mm -hmm. Good night and Godspeed.